Penny Cooks here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious cheesy spinach stuffed pork chop, y'all. It is so delicious and tender and juicy. Let's get to cooking. These are the ingredients and pans I'll be using tonight. I have these two thick cut pork chops. If you see the sale bite date, that says June 24th, 2020, y'all. I have some breadcrumbs cream cheese that I may not use, some five cheese Italian blend, red onion, and organic baby spinach, and I have bacon. This is maple bacon, so I may pull out some plain bacon and use that instead. This is a cast iron enamel skillet that I bought from Sam's a while ago, so I thought I'd go ahead and use it. It's two pieces, a nine inch pan and a 13 inch. It works in ovens and broilers. I'm going to wash it before I use it just like I'm doing with the spinach. So even though I buy my spinach organic, I still wash it with water and white vinegar and agitate the water to get all any sand and dirt off and then strain it. You want to make sure that you dry this well before we cook it. Next up is to cook our pork chops. Y'all, I had these back in my deep freezer for the last year and I said, let me go ahead and use these. So starting off, I'm gonna wash them. You'll notice pork chops can have some gritty bits on it that you wanna get off. These are thick cut pork chops. I wouldn't cook these for other people since they're over a year old, but they were just fine for me and I defrost them in the refrigerator. So next up, I wash my hands after washing the pork and now I'm cutting up my red onions. You could definitely use white onions if you don't have red. Any type of onion would be fine. And I am drying off my pork chops. These two pork chops are quite beautiful. But because we're going to sear them in a pot pan, we want to make sure that they are very dry before we put them in the pan. I'm going to season these now and let them sit for a few minutes. So to season, I'm starting off with liquid smoke, onion salt from Trader Joe's. So it's onion powder with some sodium in it. Smoked paprika. It gives a really good bang to your meat when you're only seasoning them for a few minutes before you cook them. This is garlic and herb seasoning. I'm using this instead of plain garlic powder. Just trying out different seasoning blends. I really like this, this one. So I'm just gonna rub in my seasonings and flip them over and season the backside. So these are stuffed pork chops, which means we will be slicing them open you can season the inside, but to be honest, we're going to season our stuffing mixture, so seasoning the inside of the meat really isn't necessary. So this is just the second side that we're seasoning and rubbing in, and we're going to let this meat sit for a few minutes while we prepare our stuffing. Look at that beautiful pork chop, y'all. Nice and thick. So now let's slice it open. I'm just using a sharp knife and you want to slice all the way through the pork chop without completely cutting it into two pieces. So just do this the safest way you can. I should have had a kitchen towel underneath my plastic cutting board so that it didn't move, but you can see the inside of the pork chop. Um, it's best to lay it flat as I finally figured out here and keep your hand on top of it as you slice it to get it even cut. So lay the pork chop flat, press your hand down on it and slice through it. It's the safest method, but don't cut all the way through. Now I am going to take my plain thick cut bacon and I'm just going to fry off a few pieces. I do not need a whole lot of bacon. We want this bacon mainly to render off the bacon grease from it. So I'm using three or four slices that I'm going to fry. So our bacon is going and look at all that beautiful flavor grease in the pan. So I'm going to take my bacon out of the pan and sit it to the side. And resist the urge to eat it now. And now I'm going to throw in my onions into the bacon grease and let them saute. So we're just going to pull out all of the flavor that was left in the pan from the bacon. And I'm using a wooden spoon and I want to scrape up any of the charred bits from the bacon that cooked previously. All of that is going to add flavor to our stuffing. I have my beautiful spinach that I dried thoroughly. 
So now I'm adding that to my sauteed onions. If you had fresh garlic, you could also saute that with your onions. Next up, we're adding our seasonings. So I'm adding um, the same seasonings that you saw me add to the meat. Garlic and herb seasoning, smoked paprika. I crumbled up my bacon, so now, I, now I'm adding that to my spinach mix. And we're just going to give that a toss. You could also add onion salt, smoked paprika, garlic powder, liquid smoke. I'm adding breadcrumbs now, just about a couple of tablespoons. It gives a nice texture and a little bit of heft. This is my five cheese blend Italian cheese. I'm using about four ounces. It has mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, asiago, and romano cheeses. You can add the amount of cheese to your personal tasting. And now I'm just gonna give it a gentle mix. So as I was mixing this, it came out to the perfect consistency that I decided I didn't need to use cream cheese. So I didn't use the cream cheese that I had in the first shot of this video. I may try again with that cream cheese just to see how it comes out, but on this day, I decided I didn't need it. You can also add black pepper to your seasoning because remember, the greens, although it looks like a small amount now, it was a lot in the beginning, so we want to make sure they're flavored. And look at that cheese pull, y'all. Absolutely delicious. You can eat it like this, and I absolutely do, just as a cream spinach side dish. But for now, we're going to take our stuffing mix and set it to the side, our bacon cream spinach. And now I'm gonna add some more oil to my pan. I'm gonna use grapeseed oil and let my pan heat back up so that we can sear our pork chops. So once your pan is heated, you can see it sizzling. I am adding my two pork chops and I'm going to sear them on both sides. Look at that beautiful seasoning, y'all. And this is our stuffing mix, just waiting on the side. Now, I made this a few different times, so you'll notice I'm using my red cast iron pan here. But look at that beautiful sear I have. Absolutely gorgeous. So remember these pork chops, we slice them in half before we cook them. So once they're seared on both sides, now you can use a spoon to gently add your stuffing mixture to the inside. If a little bit comes out, that's okay. Remember, we slice pretty deeply, so you should have a big enough pocket to add two or three tablespoons of our stuffing in there. We are not trying to cook the pork chops through on top of the stove. We just want to sear them and stuff them. And then we're going to finish them off in the oven. So for pork chops, you want them to cook to about a temperature total of 135 degrees. So it can rest and come up to 140 before you eat it. So after you stuff them, you want to use your meat thermometer to see what temperature they currently are now. So you'll know how long to cook them in the oven. If they're at 110, 120 degrees, then cook it in an oven at 400 degrees for about five minutes and check your temperature at that time and take it out when it's 135. And look at the beautiful, delicious result. Cream spinach stuffed pork chops. Make this for dinner and thank me later. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.